Hi everybody, Beanmeister22 here, and today we're going to do something really creepy. This is a brown... Whoa! This is a very aggressive brown widow spider from Hawaii. Very creepy, very fast. Oh, oh come on, get on it. Get on. Whoa! Yeah, and he did not... Whoa. Ah! He did... <laughs> he did not want to come out of his little shipping container. Wow! He is fast, and like I said, very aggressive. I can't say he's mean... But, man, he was quick, and he did not want to cooperate. Usually a black widow spider, you, you know, just kind of dangle down. Wow, that is creepy looking. Dangle down into the new habitat? But, wow, this... I, I haven't had a brown widow before. I've heard about them. There's internet rumor out there that the brown widow spider is more deadly and dangerous than a black widow spider. That is a fallacy. That is not correct. The brown widow spider is less dangerous than a standard Western Black Widow or Southern Black Widow. But they are much more aggressive. You can see here, wow, it, wow, that spider did not waste any time to jumping on one of the crickets we put in this habitat. You can see the sticky stuff on the web. So they goop out the sticky stuff. This is just like a Black Widow. You know what they say? It's exactly the same except different. The markings on its body... It, it looks like those garden orb weavers that you see. So if you were to see this and didn't get a good look at it, you'd think it was a very harmless spider uh, until you got a better look. And yes, it has that distinctive red hourglass on its abdomen. Abdomen? Uh, on its belly. It's not on its back. It's on its underside. Remember, all black widows don't have that hourglass, or they have it, but it's not always visible. The other thing about the brown widow is you can see the stripes on the legs. And we've had other spiders. Remember that nightmare spider? Don't know what it was from a long time ago. i got to repost a video with a better edit. And it had weird stripes on the legs here, too. But this, this guy is moving around quickly. And, wow, that is creepy. He is fast. Or should I say she? She is fast. And she is aggressive. Because she is zooming all around. Making her attacks. And she, like I said, she wanted to climb up the tweezers. And got on my glove when I was trying to put her in this habitat. Brown little spiders, I guess they're all over now. This is from Hawaii. Very common there. I have, I've actually seen this spider before. Ugh. I've actually seen this spider before, but I didn't know it was a brown widow because I didn't get a look at the underside. Like I said, it's the markings, it's got kind of an orb weaver markings to it. And I did think it was fitting to put, well, she is, she's attacking the cricket Going up, doing some web, zooming back up, going up and down repeatedly. Very weird. Laying out some web. I did think it was fitting to put this brown widow in with a black widow thing. You know, black widow, little figurine. Yeah, get it? Brown black widow, black brown widow. Before I had any real experience that I knew about with a brown widow spider, I had always thought that the brown widow, because you hear people talking about them, was actually what people were calling a false black widow. Because if you have a false black widow, they can look black, they can look purplish, they can look brown. And they look just like a black widow, except sometimes some very faint white markings on their back. So if you saw this one wrong, you'd say, wow, you know, this could be a false black widow. Not to be confused with a false widow, that's a whole different spider. And why I had that thought is, because most people misidentify spiders. The giant house spider in my area, it's a big, scary, brown-looking spider that's here. Benign, friendly spider. People misidentify that as a wolf spider all the time. They say, it's a wolf spider, it's a brown recluse, it's a hobo spider. They think it's a more dangerous or more aggressive spider when it's just a super common spider. So spider misidentification is easy. And also, your interaction with a spider, if it scares you or startles you or you're crawling across you, you don't have time to do, oh, what kind of spider do you think this is? You know, and do an investigation. It's, ah, spider! You know, wow, this, you can see how just up the Black Widow figure, down the Black Widow figure, back down to its prey. Very aggressive, moving around a lot. Now, we've seen this in Black Widows, but this one from just out the gate, from the get-go, it's bam, 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 zooming all around. I would not want this little guy loose in the house. The exact same movements and actions, you see it's pulling the cricket up, as a standard Black Widow where it turns around and splays out the web. And
And then, you know, goes in for a bite. Ooh, looks like it bit the cricket right in the face. Give me a little kiss, baby. Yeah, that's a kiss of death. The average person seeing the spider say, yeah, very creepy. But they may have no idea this is in the widow or black widow family. Unless they saw that hourglass and they said, what the heck is this? This isn't a black widow. Yeah, it's a brown widow. All right, you know anything about brown widows? Have you ever seen one before? Did you ever see a different spider and think, well, that's a brown widow? But it wasn't looking like this and didn't have that bright red hourglass. It's like it's an easy mistake to make. I've, I've made it in the past, probably. So I'll leave your comments in the comment section. As always, thanks for watching. Beanmeister22, the most dangerous man on YouTube.